Alright, people of the world. This is GTA Raj, and I'm a bit late. I am somewhat late to my own stream. Love to see it. You love to literally see it. Right, so I have a bit of explaining to do. I have a bit of explaining to do, actually. So, YouTube. Or I'm OBS with being a bit of a pain in my rear end. It actually wasn't letting me stream. I was like, oh, we can't connect to the shit, but. And I'm like. Okay then. But it's whatever. Um, at the end of it. At the end of it, it has pretty damn. You're damn fine. Hey, Missy, you're so fine. Yes, I find you, blah, blah, blah. Hey, Missy. Y'all never seen the, the Doctor Who thing? There's a Doctor Who parody of. That freaking Hey, Missy song. Hey, Missy, you're so fine. You're so fine. You're blah, blah, blah. Hey, Missy. And it's honestly, it's honestly cool. Anyway, anyway, tonight, well, no, today is now Thursday, is it Thursday already? Or Wednesday? Wednesday, it's 12.23. Tonight, today, whatever, we're going to be playing Sonic CD on the Mega CD. Sega! Sega Mega CD, Sega Mega CD. Na 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 So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Me and Sonic CD, we have a bit of a history together. I first played it on the Sega Mega Collection Plus on PS2. That's where I played it. And then I played it properly on an emulator. The emulator... The ISO that I had for the emulator was weird because it separated the music. The music was in its own audio folder. And if you switched the music out, you had basically a custom soundtrack. And it was pretty damn cool. But here is... Sonic... CD. Now I'm kidding, that's Thunder, Thunderhawk. With, uh... Sonic CD is in the back of it. Now, I picked this one up off of eBay. Because it came it came with my Mega CD. Um, a couple of years ago. It came with my Mega CD and I'm like, hey, that's fantastic. I just saved myself, like, 50 bucks on a Mega CD. Because the, the dude was like, that'll be... What was it, 150 quid? Or something like that. I saw this game go for 40 quid, disc only. I saw it go for 70, complete in box. And I'm like, hey, listen, with these auction prices, I save money. I'm not gonna lie. This is technically Sonic 2. It was in development. <sighs> At roughly the same time as Sonic 2. Came out a little bit after it. 1993. We have 35 tracks. That's, that's fantastic. Da na 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 na. Ra 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 ra. Yeah, the disc is in the drive. If I were to reset the console now, I'd be like, hey. Hey! Let's go... See your arm play. Produced by or under license from Sega Enterprises Limited. Hey, Missy, you're so fine, you're so fine, you're blah, blah, blah. Hey, Missy. Hey, Missy. Da -da -da -da. Oh, you're flickering. Why are you flickering? 
I have the issue sometimes with um, Mega CD games. But this will allow me to ultimately calibrate things for the menu. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. Yeah, so this seems a little bit off. It's a bit off at one side. I was hoping to avoid a situation like that. However, it cannot be ignored. Okay, this will just have to do. You'll have to deal with the static A. Okay, let's exit. Na 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 na. Da na 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 na. Da na 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 na. Sonic CD, the Hedgehog. We're gonna jump right into a new game. Sorry about the flickering in advance. Okay, this is even better to calibrate. So if I. Yeah, it's not off by, by that much. Actually, it wasn't even off to begin with. Anyway. Anyway, let's go. Let's see Sonic CD. Well, hey. Wait, what did we just hit? What? Oh. Yes, let's go, Sonic Senpai. Let's go to the past and save people. Oh, wow, it's messed up. Oh, are you kidding? Oh. I need to find a safe spot to time travel. There we go. Sonic to the future. Oh, in this case, the past. <laughs> oh my, I love this. <sighs> so it's now a case of level exploration to find the machine to give a good future. Because there is a machine that you have to find, and if you don't find it, you get a regular future. Wow. Are you kidding? That's terrible. Of course I died. Wait a second, that's a jump. Bump. Whoa, I didn't realize you could do that. Yeah, let's not go to the future. What the hell? That's the machine that we need to stop. Now we can finish level. So there's those metal sonic machines. Oh, fuck off. I hate that. Meow. <laughs> Woo! Wait a minute, what? Why? Wait, there's squirrels jumping on the stage. That's pretty cool. Oh. Na 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 na. Yeah, but I get much. Man, I love this game. Did we not give it a good future? Wait, is it not that you have to like destroy the metal sonic machine?
How did I get good future music in Sonic CD? No, it's the robot generator! Not the Metal Sonic machine! Oh no! Oh no! Wow, we even glitched the sand out. I don't know how we did that. Nah. You know what? I purposefully want to try and get a good future for like Act 1. Oh, that's the future. Start off with that. Where's the past? Give me the past. Okay, let's go. Give signpost, please. Wait, this is lasting a lot longer than normally does. Get me past signpost. I need it. No! Crap! I'm in the future, man. I'm in the future. I'm low-key just about to stop this and be like, hey, listen. Yeah, we're resetting. All right, here's the thing. Here's the thing I want to try for good future. Did it crash? No. It takes a second for the game to load, which is kind of weird. But it's ki it's also kind of expected. Like... Na -na 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 this game is just as old as me, so hey, listen. Actually, I might be older than the game by slightly. Man, that, that kind of like 3D aesthetic looks good. I don't care what anyone says, it looks fantastic. Blap. Blah, 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 blah. Whoop. No, I just got cocked out of the past. No. Yeah, let's avoid the future, we're going to the past. Wait, what? That's the second time that's happened. I hate it here, I really do. And the kicker is, you can only use the same post once. So if you somehow screw up... Then that's it, you're done. Oh, we just got the stage music to loop, nice. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Hey, that's Princess Sally. That's my chica, Princess Sally.
Wait a second. I'm sorry guys, I just want a good pass. Uh, put a distance CD trade, press start. Okay, let's go. Where's it going, Abby? I press start? Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna drink some outdated juice here. Give me a second. <sighs> per hundred gram. Let's see something like sugary as hell, Romani. Oh my god, this is so good. Chat, this is what we call a full motion video back in the day. We've got like 10 FPS video. Son of warrior. Oh my goodness. Bruh, this is fucking cool. You can do anything. <sighs> That's a good song. Like the guitaring on it, the guitar riffing on it is pretty good. Wow. I have just ingested a lot of sugar. But I don't mind. This is Japanese juice I've got. Alright, let's go. Pam wait, Pam Tea Panic 3. Listen. That wasn't the deal. The deal was a good future on Pam Tea Panic. I can't believe. We are 20 minutes in. Like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on the notification bell. Keep in mind, these Sonic games are pretty short, so yeah. <laughs> right, start. We don't want to continue. We actually want a new game. Because I'm determined to get at least one good feature. And wait, I I just got I just got juked. Holy oh, shit! Okay, let's let's fight a past. Let's find a past signpost and try this.
Yes! Hello, Jensen. How you doing? This is time traveling Sonic the Hedgehog. We're traveling back to the past, like back to the future. I need to find that machine. It's going to drive me insane if I don't. Each stage has a robot making machine that we have to get rid of. It's like a literal thing. That's a fear tactic from Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic's a thing. You liked. Hey, thank you. Yeah, let's not go to the future. It's rather boring if you do that. See, the robots are already here, so we have to find the generator for them. Yeah, we almost time traveled. Hey, there's Flickies! What the heck? Since when are Flickies in this game? Let's not do that. Oh my god, this guy hates us. He's the guy that keeps, like, killing us every single time. But yeah, Sonic CD is just. Oh, I hate that. Ah. Oh, my God. Yeah, some parts of the game is just designed weird. But we do have to backtrack, so that's that's uh, something at least. Uh... Yeah, it's... Wait, what the heck? Why is that stuck there? Bruh, Sonic just got wrecked. Okay. Let's keep trying. It's going to be somewhere. How the hell? What? Oh no, we bugged the sound out again. No, I'm pretty sure it's up there. The hell? We do have to go looking for it, and we have to do it in Palm Tree Panics 1 and 2. So keep that in mind if you, if you plan on playing this. Now, it's, for me, it's been a wee while since I've actually had to do something like this. So, I've actually forgotten where the generator is. But it's a big hulking machine on... Somewhere. Ah! My goodness. Woo! I will go looking for it. It's somewhere. Oh, another goal's here. Let's not. <laughs> yeah, we're not done with the stage unless I actually hit the generator already and didn't realize it. Bruh. Oh my goodness. Let's try that again. Oh, 
Okay. There it is. That's the noise that we need. We don't have school tomorrow because hur hurricane. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry to hear that. Sonic made a good future in his own one. So if we did a successful good future, we need to do it in both zone one and zone two. So first things first, we need to go back to the past. It's gonna take you back to the past. To play some shitty games to suck ass, he'd rather have a buffalo. Take a diarrhea dump in his ear. I'm kidding. That does remind me though, I wonder what James Rolfe's been up to lately. AVGN wise. Give me a past one already, jeez. Can I not get in there? the future, I don't want that. Man, I got robbed. Can I have a pass sign post, please? There's one down there. Lesson Sonic, buddy. Let's not do this. I'm going to get in there. It's just unfortunate. Are you kidding? We don't have hurricane. Oh, we don't have skill cards, hurricane. Yeah, we don't really get those here. Oh man, I'm gonna have to go along now. That's annoying. But because the way time travel works, it should just allow you. Can I get a past one, please? Okay, thanks. No, no go for me. I need to pass. Yes, I'm still away. No! 
That's just unfortunate. Uh, I had to. For some reason, they limit what you can do with the past. Alright, let's go. How are you doing tonight, chat? And I know there was one just over here. Ah! I have to purposefully jump on a spike. I don't like it. Oh. It's really annoying to have to do this. <sighs> Chat, I'm a whole ass fucking client. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. It saves a uh, saves it right there as soon as I'm done. Motherfucker. Okay, never mind. I I don't care about the good thing now. Why are you flickering? Oh, I hate this. There should be no reason for it to flicker like this. Listen, chat, I'm sorry. I don't know what it is that's causing this flickering. Wham wham. Na 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 Are you actively trying to get my audience epilepsy? Oh great, now he's doing it here too. Why is it that whenever I want to play a game that I want, I can't do it because there's one issue or another? I don't get it. I hate it so much. And it's nothing to do with the Mega CD. No, it's acting fine. So it could be down to like inputs or anything really I genuinely don't know yeah we're gonna we're gonna breeze through um palm tree panic we'll try and get this sorted somehow
But yeah, um, I'm not after accuracy. You're stopping by to see me. Hey, thank you for stopping by anyway. If you want to pick up Sonic CD, you can do so. It's on a PlayStation Network. It's on Sega Mega CD. It's also on Steam, Xbox Live. There's plenty of places where you can buy this. And it's relatively cheap too. So, yeah. I actually recommend this. It's a very good game. It's a little on the slow side. It's a little on the slow side because there's it's not quite as fast as um, say Sonic 2. So the way things work is your spin dash is built up. Right? Spin dash is built up. So you have to hold down and then hold down A. You don't get to like crouch with down and then mash the A button. That's not how that works. But you can also peel out, which is a random burst of acceleration, which will allow you to just speed ahead. So up, hold A, let go. That's what a peel out gets you. And it's the opposite. You do the same thing, but instead of holding up, you hold down. And that's how you do your spin dash in this one. Which defeats the whole, oh, Tails taught Sonic how to spin dash. Which I saw that floating around and like, oh, what? You're high. Yeah, some people have it in their heads that Tails taught Sonic how to do the spin dash. And I'm like, bruh, that's factually incorrect. Let's just play Sonic as intended. I'm not going for the good ending. Because this game actually does have multiple endings, which is surprising. Why did they put a random rock there? Uh, uh. Hey, you subscribed again, sweet. What is this, your third account? You're not allowed to do that, but whatever. You're not allowed to make multiple accounts just to subscribe. But either, either way, I think we still come to a bad future whenever you get two good ones. Bro, what the hell? That was easy. <laughs> oh, me. Yeah, so this game has multiple endings to it, which is kind of new for a Sonic game. Collision Chaos. This one caught me off guard so hard when I first played it. Because here's Princess Sally all loving on you. Alright, uh, Sally loving on, loving on you. Yeah, I'm not bothering with the time travel stuff. Like, as always, the time travel stuff is optional. 
and it's just really weird. Also, epilepsy warning. Yeah, no, that's horrible shrubbing lights. I'm gonna... When I'm done with the stream, I'm putting an epilepsy warning on this. Because this is nasty. I hate this stage with a passion. Go, that's um, Jesus Christ, that's a station and a half. Woo wee. <sighs> it's actually only going to get worse, so that's that's the unfortunate side of things. Um, yeah, that <laughs> is what it is. Legend Chaos. But what I am noticing... What I am noticing is since I... I'll, t I'll tell you about the trouble I had. So when I would play retro games... More, more or less like big speedy retro games. This is, this is back before I switched my monitors around. So, big one here, small one here. On the big one, the picture was stretched out so much that I'd have to back away from the screen just to see what was going on. And I'm like, huh? I'm sitting right where I am now, right? When I did my Sonic stream. My last Sonic stream, the... the the big one with Sonic 1, 2, and 3 in it. My camera's not even centered correctly. Okay, now it is. So essentially, when I, when, when I would do my stream, I'd be sitting here like this, kind of like th this close. And it got to a point, or, um, I was sitting like this close and the screen was like several inches bigger height wise and width wise. So about that much on either side. And it got to me. It got to me because all the all the, the, the retro stuff, its picture was blown out. Or um blown up. It stretched in proportion. So if I had a if I had a fifty seven inch ultra wide around this desk here, that picture that's coming from the Mega Drive Mega CD would be stretched to that width entirely. 
save for a few centimeters of black boxes. But I noticed it really, really bad when I was playing... I noticed it really bad when I was playing Sonic. Running through Green Hill Zone, and everything was a blur, it was, they were, everything was just blending, and it wasn't good at all. It really wasn't. I hated it. I really, really hated it. And it's the reason... Or it helped me figure out the reason that I felt uncomfortable playing retro overall on a screen like this. Because it was a bloody mess, it became a lot a lot of things got blended, basically. It was just annoying. It, it, it was hard to look at. And it honestly did affect performance. Like a fair amount. <laughs> no, and worse, when you're trying to play a, an action-packed game and you're like... Ah... Uh -huh. But yeah, the monitor that used to be here, the, the, on the main screen part, was a 27-inch 1440p monitor. Now that's a... It's a good monitor. It has one or two dead pixels on it. But it's a good monitor. But playing retro games on it, eh, hey, that's a no go. That that's never a go. That's never a good thing. I honestly don't I don't recommend it. I would rec if you're gonna play games like Sonic on a 1440p screen or higher, I would recommend you set at least five feet. Away from the screen. So kind of like that. You set that far away, you'll do fine. But when... In my case scenario is in regards to content creation. So it became a bother more than anything else. Because I was sitting so close, my eyes couldn't see properly because everything was a blur. I had to look around the screen to see what I was doing, where I was going, that kind of thing. Which is why I want to push the more retro on the channel because I can now utilize it correctly I mean gr granted it's not a it's not a CRT that's running through a capture card to, running through my capture card to here on OBS that's the dream that is honestly the dream I know if you don't mind, I'm going to delve into some Oshi. <sighs> now, because of the scaling that's going on here. Actually, this looks better on the... Looks better here. I'll tell you why. We have scan lines and they're not as crunched. We have scan lines and the picture's not as smush as it was made out to be. So, yeah. <laughs> so, th this is taking a composite video signal and converting it to 1080p. Alright, yeah, I'm in 4 by 3 So that's that's 16 by 9 This is 4 by 3 If we do scan lines, click on it. I'm going to increase them a little bit. It's 
a little bit trippy. But uh, I'm just going to increase the floor. It's not quite as visible. Yeah. That should very much do it. Um, yeah. All right. We're going to play a bit more of this, and then it'll be it. But I've set my piece, and honestly, it looks better on the CRT uh, overlay. The hell. Uh, let's just go to the past anyway. Yum. <laughs> it looks great, doesn't it? There we go. Look at that. This is actually easier. And we just accidentally caused a good future. So all we have to do is find the exit, and that would be good. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, the 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 time travel sign will flicker before it fades or let you time travel. Can I get the gold, please? Okay, thanks. Analytics, hi there. We got like one, we got nine viewers overall. That's one that's a fan of me. Although Sonic CD isn't for everyone oh, that shit is basically pinball I hate it Bro, this soundtrack's hilarious. I wonder, is there a differentiation? Is there a, is there a different soundtrack with the Japanese version, or just? 
they all share the same side card. That would be very interesting to know, actually. Because this is appealing more to... This is more appealing... The soundtrack itself is more appealing to the West. Because of its sound and rap-like style, or hip-hop style. With the large amount of, like, English in the OST in general, I know there's, like, cutscene differences between the US and Japanese versions of the game. I hate this stage, man. It's so BS. Why did that not work? Not to mention those frame dips. The console itself is struggling to process uh, Sonic. How it process virtual racing is beyond me. Maybe my copy of the game just cursed. with a slowdown. There we go, buckles. <laughs> hmm, what's next? Wait, my Mega Drive controls is not good. This is the same stage from Sonic 1. Oh, this is more bugs than anything else. Alright. I love how there's artificial slowdown when you're in the water. Luckily, they didn't pull a PAL version and be like, hey, listen. So I wonder if I, if I quit the game, like, if I power the system off, will I have saved my stuff to RAM? Let's find out. Now this is just a test, folks. Whoa! What 
What in the hell happened there? If it's safe to RAM or uh, read only or ROM, then listen. It looks like we'll be doing, we'll be coming back to this at some point because I want to investigate more into Sonic CD. RAM data, random access memory. Please change number. Wait, so I have to create the data and then use it. I don't have the manual, so I can't check. <gasps> it's saved. It's saved. Not gonna lie, that motor is still pretty strong. The motor still sounds really, really good on a Sonic CD. Um, Mega CD. <sighs> but, um, yeah. One of the. Since I got back into retro after upgrading from my Elgato HD, HD um, game capture, is the fact that everything looks so good. Like. The capture card is compatible with 480p upwards. Now, it's taking this video signal from the Mega Drive and converting it to 1080 or 720 and it's making the capture card think it is that. It's, it feels upscale, to be honest. It really feels it. You know, without all the hop up. But look at that. Look at the picture quality. I'm very impressed. I never had anything like that with the Elgato. And I never had anything like that with the Dazzle. Now, don't get me wrong, the Dazzle DVC 100 is a legendary capture card. Nothing that Elgato makes, nothing that Posh makes, or any of those manufacturers, nothing that they make will ever come close to the legacy that the Dazzle holds. It has a legacy in my heart, not only as a DVD recorder. Did it just crash? That must be an issue or something. That's fine. But comparing like colors and stuff to from the monitor that I'm looking at it on the actual input or output monitor, compared to the capture card, this is night and day. Like the monitor has some kind of smoothing on it or something. It seems smooth, the colors aren't quite there, and the picture's stretched. Meanwhile, in this, on 
on on the CRT on the CRT it's literally a there's literally a scan line filler and an aspect ratio filter and then the rest is down to stretching so it is in 4 by 3 which is what this would have been in um in the 90s on a CRT the scan lines there's also some I'm pretty sure there's a cover for no, there's not. There's just scan lines and aspect ratio. No other fillers. But this is what you're seeing on the CRT. The greens are better. They're more jagged and pixelated the way they should be. They're not smoothed out or anything like that. There's a lot of good going on here. But anyway, I want to thank you all for joining me tonight. If you've enjoyed yourself, a sub to the channel would be absolutely fantastic. If you like the content, drop a like, share the content around. If you want to support the channel, you can do so by becoming a channel member, sending super chats, sending super stickers, sending super thanks. Uh, there's also affiliate links in the description. All of them are tracked, which means if you use my link to buy something, then I get a small kickback on it. But here we are. There's channel members available, channel memberships available. It's, it kind of works like Twitch subs, like Twitch subs, where it's a monthly thing and you get benefits. Twitch, <coughs> Twitch subs don't really give you a benefit outside of being able to access someone's Discord server or emotes. But with this, you get like real world benefits, like early access to videos. Um, early access to it on any videos and stuff like that. But yeah, if you've enjoyed yourself, you can help out the channel in those ways. Um, there's affiliate links in the description. Dubby, Fatal Grips, and Rogue Energy all have the the code GTA Raj attached to them, which means if you use my code, eh, hey, listen, save it ten percent, save a bit of money. Why don't you? treat yourself but anyway anyway that's all for now um i will be back tomorrow with more delta rune a uh, delta rune is going to be on the crt because for one i'm actually sick of having games like fully banned i need to get a, a proper like banner set up that goes around the camera it goes, or goes around the cam box, goes around the uh, CRT and all that. I don't freaking know. But anyway, anyway, thank you for joining me tonight. Um, as always, stay safe. Take care. I will see you tomorrow.